After watching the Iowa and LSU game, it's very clear what the agenda is. I'm going to dissect LSU game with video, but first, let's talk about Iowa. In the Iowa game, the score was tied at 52 with two minutes left. West Virginia was then called for seven fouls. Iowa was called for none. In the end, Iowa won. Look at the free throw discrepancy. Three out of five compared to 25 out of 30. That don't make no sense. Now let's get into this LSU game because it was by far the most egregious. All right, look at this. This girl gets absolutely plastered. And I'd be okay with calling that a clean block if they were calling it that way on both sides. Now let's watch this no call on Angel Reese. She straight drops her, pushes her off on her. Now let's look what happens the very next play. Foul. Foul. No offensive foul on Angel, and now no defensive foul. Like, this is crazy. She swiped down on her. Shot. Got that to go. Reese was all over her. Look at this shit. See how wild that is? Y'all just missed two fouls on Angel. But make sure to call the flop that gets their center fouled out. I feel you, girl. I'm just a spectator and I was mad. Let's rewatch this shit. Let's look at how physical LSU is allowed to be. Watch Anissa tomorrow. Oh shit. No call. Smacked on her arm. The refs completely swallowed their whistle unless it benefited LSU. Look at that. Trip over feet. Don't worry, we got you. Foul! Bump. Haley doing that same bump that they've been doing all game, but now they're calling it since Middle Tennessee key players have fouled out. Somebody please explain to me how this is in a foul from Anissa Ma. Look how aggressive she swiped down. Let's watch again. And instead of calling the foul on Anissa, they decide to call an offensive foul on one of the players from Middle Tennessee which then resulted in Angel taking more free throws because now they're in the bonus. <laughs> My timeline was eerily similar after the LSU and Iowa game. A bunch of tweets talking about how bad the officiating was. I want to see Iowa and LSU rematch just like everyone else, but not at the expense of cheating the underdog. Middle Tennessee and West Virginia deserve better.